Hi guys, I'm Brittany Smith, independent consultant with Us Born Books and More. Um, this is my sister Kaylee. Hello. She's going to help me today. We're just going to show you every single Us Born book that I have in my house for my daughter, Maddie. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys everything so you can know how truly great these books are. Um, they're high quality, great content, very engaging, interactive, and educational. And I don't think people really understand just how awesome these books are. They're not all just books. They have fun little components and fun ways to keep your little readers interested. So first I'm going to start with some more books for our babies, um, infants, my 10 month old Maddie. She likes to play with these books as well. And she has since she was born and could do tummy time. So the first one we have is one of our cloth books. So this is Hushabye Bunny. There's also Hushabye Owl. Um, and there's also a rabbit one and a few others. So it's one of our cloth book series. It has some crinkles in it. This has a little pattern for them to touch on the ears. And it is an actual story in the book that you can read. Um, and then he's awake and then the bunny's asleep. So there's a whole series of these Hushabye books um, where they're going to bed. And there's a fun little activities and things for them to touch and play with on the book. The next one we have is our tummy time books. So this one is the farmyard. There's also a woodland one. So it um, has three little sides on both sides with different activities. It has some lift the flaps going on. And then it also has a little mirror right here on this side. It has a little booklet and a bunch of colors. So it's a tummy time book because you can fold it both ways actually. And you can sit it like a little triangle on the floor in front of them. And then if they want the other activities, you just flip it back around. And oh my goodness. And then you have the other activities where you can sit it on the floor. They can lift the flaps, play with the mirror, whatever you want. So there are two of these tummy time books and there's also some fold out books, which are also great for tummy time. Um, next we have our Hello Baby series. This one's Hello Baby Rainbow Colors. There's also Hello Baby Day and Night and Hello Baby um, Buzz Buzz. It has these fun little things on the side where you can um, play with them and they can go over their colors. They're all super soft, so they're another one of our cloth books and they're very bright and colorful to help keep the baby entertained. Okay, another set of cloth books is our Little Fox and there's also Little Lion. These little cloth books come with teethers on them. So they're little teething rings for the little baby to chew on while they're teething. Again, it's another small cloth book. So um, very soft, can't hurt them, can't tear them. Um, super short stories with lots of colors to keep them um, entertained. Um, finally, we have um, our crinkle pets. There's also a crinkle jungle. So it's just like a little fold out book here that crinkles. And even the little things on the pages crinkles. So like the fish fin crinkles, the dog's ear crinkles. So this one is Crinkle Pets, but there's also Crinkle Jungle. Just a little fun fold out crinkle book. Okay, so next I'm gonna go over um, some dual readers. So this one's going to the dentist. There's also going to the doctor and going to school. So it's a dual readers book where at the top, when your little one's learning how to read, they would read this little up here and you would read the big words down here throughout the book. So it's like that on every page. So that's why it's called a dual reader. They would read the top, you would read the bottom. And then as they learn how to read, um, they will be able to read the bottom too. And they're gonna be so excited and happy whenever they can read the whole book by themselves. So again, there's going to the dentist, going to the doctor and going to school. Another fun little book we have is Dogs, Dogs. They also have Cats, Cats. So it's just um, talking about different dogs. There's a dirty dog, a scared dog, a lazy dog, a pretty dog. And then at the very end of the book, you actually become the dog yourself or the cat if you get the Cats, Cats book. So next I wanted to go over some of our bedtime story books. Um, the first one I want to go over is How to Tuck in Your Sleepy Lion. So this is actually part of a collection where you can buy all four books. We have two out of the four. We have How to Bathe Your Little Dinosaur and How to Tuck in Your Sleepy Lion. There's also How to Brush Your Teeth with Snappy Croc and How to Feed Your Cheeky Monkey. So you can um, order these individually like I did or you can order the whole set together. 
but this one just goes through and talks about what you do to go to bed. So you take a bath, you brush your teeth, but the lion wants to play instead. But you get in your pajamas and you give him a little teddy bear and you read him a book to go to bed. Same with the, the how to give the dinosaur a bath. You're just, just teaches them what a bath is and how to give them a bath. So that's a fun little series. Back to the bedtime story books. We have Goodnight Owl, Goodnight Chameleon and Goodnight Owl. So these are some cute little books with lift the flaps, touchy feelies, all the fun stuff. So it's a little felt right here and you lift the flap and there he is. These are also very bright and colorful books for the little ones in your life. Um, little kids love bright colors. So this one is the Goodnight Owl. And then the Goodnight Chameleon is the exact same concept, just about a chameleon instead of an owl and different characters hiding behind different objects. So those are super fun and cute and great for little ones. And um, there's also the Twinkly Twinkly Bedtime Book. So this book you turn on in the back and you can also replace the batteries in it. So that way you can um, keep reusing it. And this book has little lights in it um, that are representing stars in the sky. So that's super cool. My little daughter, she loves reading this book because the lights um, catch her interest. There's also another book like this. It's a Christmas time book. It's a twinkly twinkly. It's like the Christmas tree and the lights on the Christmas tree. So if you like that one, you might like the Christmas tree one. We also have Night Night Busy Town and Night Night on the Farm. Um, these are some of our books that have mini books inside of them. So you can pull out on the side a little mini book. So there's four in each one. So this one, the hens are tucked in bed, but they want to hear their bedtime story book. And their bedtime story is hide and seek hen. And this one, the sheep, they're in the meadow ready for bed, but they want to hear their bedtime story. And theirs is out and about. So it has these little books on the side. There's four in each one. And this one's just about cars and being on the town. And they read their bedtime stories too. So we also have some books that have a collection of bedtime stories. This one's Animal Stories for Bedtime. This book has, this book has 10 different um, classic little bedtime stories to read before bed. They're about five minutes long. And then we have the five minute bedtime stories. So these are five minutes long. And there are a total of 11 stories in this one. So these books are great because you're getting multiple stories in one. Um, there's also the 10 minute stories to go along with the five minute bedtime stories. These aren't necessarily bedtime stories, but we still read them at bedtime, but they're 10 minutes long instead of five minutes long. So if you want a little bit of a longer story, they have great illustrations in them. Um, and this one, of course, is 10 different stories. And then there is a 10 more 10 minute stories. So once you finish reading all the 10 minute stories in this one, you can get the next one with 10 more 10 minute little stories with great pictures and illustrations. And to go along with that, we have the Just So Stories for Little Children. It's a bunch of our little stories that you can actually buy individually. Um, like how the hell elephant got his trunk and how the leopard got his spots but it puts all these into one little book so there's six different little stories in here with fun illustrations bright colors to read to your little one we also read these at bedtime so the next books i want to go over with you guys is some books in our touchy feely series so we have tons of touchy feely books um, my daughter loves them touching the little um the fur and the stuff on the page so this one is puppies um, so as you can see, all of these are touchy-feely. Every single page in the book has some touchy-feely. This one even has a little mirror in there. But everything, and this is a squishy right here. And then you can feel the puppies. All of these puppies have different touchy-feelies. So this book is called Puppies. It's a touchy-feely book. And we also have Animal Hide and Seek. Now this one's a touchy-feely book, but it's also a lift the flap book. So we love our lift the flaps and look inside. But some touchy-feelies, again, another little mirror here. So everything over here is touchy-feely. The little dog's touchy-feely, but it's also a lift the flap. And whenever you lift it, the cow is also touchy-feely. Same right here on this page. So the food is touchy-feely. It's got like a bumpy feel. You can feel the duck's beak and the pig's body. 
And then there's a pig hiding where you can feel his little ears. Over here, you can feel their water bucket and the dog's ears as well. You can also feel the little chicken. This one is a rough one. There's a little sheep hiding with a little butterfly. The sheep are touchy-feely. So this is a two-in-one. It's a touchy-feely book as well as a look inside book. Now, one of our best-selling series is a touchy-feely. Is one of our touchy-feely series, and that is our That's Not My series. And we have a bunch of these ones because my daughter absolutely loves this series. So the first one she got was That's Not My Puppy. You can feel, so it's just like, that's not my puppy. Its tail is too fluffy. That's not my puppy. Its paws are too bumpy. That's not my puppy. Its collar is too shiny. That's not my puppy. Its ears are too fluffy. That's my puppy. Its nose is so squashy. And then we also have That's Not My Polar Bear. My husband loves polar bears, so I got this one for my daughter as well. So it's the same concept about it not being the polar bear and everything's a different touchy filly. And then at the end, That's My Polar Bear. He's so fluffy. For Easter, she got That's Not My Bunny in her little Easter basket. So again, his little paws, they're too rough. His little tail is too fluffy. But then at the end, that's my bunny. His ears are so soft. And then another one we got is taller and shorter. So this one, it says frog is taller than mouse, but shorter than duck. Meerkat is taller than duck, but shorter than fox. So it teaches them taller and shorter. So it has little look throughs, but it's also part of our That's Not My series. Okay, so after that, we wanted to show you some of our music books and our sound books. So we have the classic ones where you touch the buttons on the side. I have a, a whole video uploaded on my YouTube channel with some of the other books like this, uh, but I'm just gonna show you one. Uh, so this one my daughter loves because it has finger trails in it. It has little touchy fillies and squishies. It has lift the flaps throughout it as well. So you can lift the flap here. Her favorite page is this one where you can lift all the flaps on the flower. But then of course you also have your buttons on the side that make noise. So there's a bunch of classic ones like that. We also have the read aloud ones. So you again, you turn it on on the back, you can replace the batteries. But this one actually just reads the story to you. Cinderella in the cellar, working very late. Sleeps at last, her eyes shut fast, curled up by the grate. So we have a few of these listen and read books where they'll actually just read the story to you. Another one of our fun series is our Don't Tickle series. I have a whole video of this up on my YouTube channel featuring every single Don't Tickle book. There's Don't Tickle the Hippo, Don't Tickle the Lion, Don't Tickle the Bear, Don't Tickle the Pig, and Don't Tickle the Dinosaur. And I believe there's one more. Well, Don't Tickle the Hippo. You can turn it on. And when you tickle it, it actually makes a little sound. So this one's the parakeet. Tickle the bear. Tickle the monkey. So there's a whole separate video of just these books on my YouTube channel that you can check out. This is the same one, but it's Don't Tickle the Pig. Same little concept, but different animals throughout the book. So there's a pig, there's a sheep, there's a cow, and there's also a horse. Um, and this one's a little bit of a different concept. These ones, you actually just press the buttons in the book. So there's a whole series like this as well. This one's jungle sounds. There's also garden sounds, woodland sounds, but you just press the button. It goes along with the story. So this one says the whole jungle, jungle shakes as a hungry tiger roars. Um, and then it says, as the sun slowly rises over the treetops, a bird wakes up on its branch and begins to sing. <laughs> so you just press the different buttons and they make different sounds. This one, the frog's gonna croak. So another fun little sound book option. There's tons of different sound books and music books. If your little one likes music, um, there's somewhere you could play the little piano or the xylophone or there's a drum, there's a guitar, and then there's nursery rhymes. So tons of different um, sound books and music books that you can check out for your little one. So these are just some fun little um, books that we have. Um, so this one is one of our slide and see books. This one's the animals. There's a whole um, series of slide and see books on the Usborn website. But you just slide and there the monkey appears. Same here, you slide, you can slide his tongue in and out, but it also changes the colors. Um, there's also finger trails in this book that you can follow with your finger. So there's a whole um, series of just finger trail books as well, if that's something that your child likes. Right here, they're munching on the grass. 
he's asleep and he's awake. And again, those little finger trails you can follow with your fingers. So this is one of our slide and see books. There's a whole series of these, super fun, super cool. Um, you Are a Star is a cute little book. It says the world is a big and buried place. There are so many things you can be and do. Sometimes you can feel a bit lost, but take your time to discover what you like and what you don't. And before long, you'll find your way to shine. So it's just a cute little storybook about you. Um, <clears throat> it says the world is big and buried place. There are so many things to be and do. Sometimes you can feel a bit lost. But don't worry, take it slow and try new things to try and find your voice and the life that suits you best. Learn what you like doing and what you don't. But there for other, be there for others, but don't let anyone put you down. Appreciate those you love and treat yourself nicely. Always remember that you are a star and you'll soon find your place in the world. So just a cute little book here. And then we have Find the Puppy. There's also um, Find the Duck. But you just, it's a little hide and seek book. Naughty Puppy likes to play. Can you find him on every page? It's breakfast time, but no one's here except for Puppy. Can you see where? So you have to find where he's hiding. On this one, he's right here under the high chair. So on every single page, the puppy's hiding, and you have to find where he's hiding at. So there's another one, Find the Duck. This is a cute little one that I actually got my husband for Valentine's Day. It's called You Complete Me. Um, there's another one in the series. It's called The Apple of My Pie. Um, my sister got that one for her boyfriend whenever it was Valentine's Day. But it's just a cute little thing like do not, do not worry. Gosh. You make me feel whole. We go together. We, wait, we are better together like milk and cookies. So then they have like the two peas in a pod, um, there's peanut butter and jelly, so just different things like that. So there's two books in the series, The You Complete Me and The Apple of My Pie. Um, this one is a whole little series. Um, I only have two of the books, but I believe there are six. Um, so I have Worry and Different, but there are some other ones. So for Worry, it says Peter the Pufferfish worried about lots of things, but his friends always helped him feel better. So <clears throat> let me go through it. Deep down in the coral reef lived a puffer fish called Peter. Peter worried a lot, and when he worried, he puffed up into a big ball. Peter worried about new things, but his friends helped him feel better. He worried about having bad dreams, but always said sometimes dreams were fun. He worried about going to the dentist, but Greg said the dentist helped keep his smile healthy. So there's some more pages in the book, but it's just about, teaches them about worry, and um, his friends are helping him not to worry. This one's different. Flo the Flamingo always felt too different, but her friends helped her to see that everyone is different. So this one, someone was hiding near the lagoon. It was a flamingo called Flo. Flo never joined in. She felt like she was too different. My beak is too big, Flo thought. Beaks are amazing, said the other birds. My neck is too long, Flo thought. Long necks are wonderful, said George. So again, just like the worry, but his friends are helping him realize that there's nothing to worry about or not to feel different, that you fit in and everything is okay. Next, I wanna show you some of our Bible story books that we have. So the first one is um, our Bible stories illustrated book, story book. So it just has all the stories in the Bible with some illustrations. And it also has a little CD in the back to go with the stories. Um, so you can play along, it'll read along with you when you go through the stories. So this one's for a little bit of a younger reader. We have another um, illustrated Bible stories book that's for a little bit of an older reader. Um, but there's two different illustrated Bible story books. We have two little board books here. We have Baby Jesus and we have Noah's Ark. These are $4.99. So super cheap and super fun. Um, they can't, they're board books so they can't be torn or ripped or anything by your little ones. So this one's just about Baby Jesus and this one's about Noah's Ark. We also have a jigsaw puzzle for Noah's Ark where you build the puzzle and it also comes with a little book as well. We have the story of baby Jesus, and it says this is a delightful retelling of the story of the birth of Jesus. Follow Mary and Joseph on their journey to Bethlehem and celebrate the magic of the very first Christmas. And then we have the Easter story. When Jesus rides into Jerusalem, he is welcomed by cheering crowds, but the temple priests are soon plotting against him. The moving story of Jesus' final journey is sensitively brought to life in this charmingly illustrated retelling. And then we also have a bunch of different nativity books. There's a touchy-feely nativity book, and there's a bunch of sticker books where you can... Um, 
sticker, put the stickers on there and create the nativity scene. Next we have our super fun, super cute nibble series. Everybody loves nibbles. He's a little nibble monster who nibbles through the pages of the book as he learns new things. You can even buy the little nibble monster plush to go with it. So there's a book on numbers uh, where he chews through, he gets out of the little nibbles jail and then he chews through the pages as he learns his numbers. You can see right here, he's chewing through the pages. Same idea here with the colors. He's chewing through all the pages as he learns his colors. Chewed right here when he learned about red. He's chewed all these holes through the book. Um, this one's the Nibbles, the book monster. So this one um, teaches you about Nibbles. It's meeting him for the first time. Um, it says, this is a story about a little monster called Nibbles. So he's nibbled his way out of his, this book. So this one is just the first of all the books it teaches you about Nibbles and the little Nibble monster that he is. And then you have Nibbles the Monster Hunt. So you're going through and you're find, looking for Nibbles. This is cute right here. It's a little book right here. Nibbles is gone. He's missing from his jail. So you're going through the book trying to find Nibbles. There's also another one in this series. It's about dinosaurs. Um, I don't have that book um, yet. I have it on my wish list. It's the next order, but there's a dinosaur one. You can actually order um, this one. You can order the book monster, the monster hut, and the dinosaur one all in a collection together, as well as get the little Nibbles um, plush to go with it as well. These ones you have to order separate but they're a great way of teaching your little one how to learn, especially if they like the Nibbles Monster and the Nibbles books. So our next series I'm gonna go over is our This Is series. These are great for reluctant readers because it gets your readers doing things in the book, like shaking the book, jumping up and down, turning the book around, and other things. So this one's This Is Frog. We also have This Is Crab and This Is Owl. This Is Owl can come with an owl plush. But like I said, as you go through the book, it just has you doing things like this one. You shake the book up and down to get the frog to jump. He jumps too high, chase after him to bring him back. Now he's upside down. Flip the book around to make him right side up. This one, he's hungry. Can you blow the flies towards him to eat? So it's great for a reluctant reader because, again, it gets them doing things in the book. And this is a whole series. There's other books more than just this one. For your littles, um, we have the my the Tiny Tots series. It comes with um, five different books. Um, we have My Busy Day, My Numbers, My First Words, My Farm Friends, My Animal Friends, and there should be another one. I'm not sure what my daughter has done with it. But these books are rip and tear proof. So you can't, you cannot tear them no matter how hard you try. They're already wrinkled up because my daughter wrinkles them. Um, but they're tear proof, waterproof, and they're easy to clean as well. So this is a whole fun little set. I believe the whole set is $19.99. Um, but again, you're getting a bunch of books in that set and they're all tear proof and waterproof as well. I have our what, um, our Lift the Flap first questions and answer series. There's tons. Um, one of my biggest sellers is what is a potty? Um, and a lot of people get that book for potty training. Um, I have the What Are Feelings. Uh, I have a bunch of the other ones in my wish list, but so far I've only gotten two getting this one. But our first questions and answers books are awesome. So this one's What Are Feelings. The first page talks about feelings and they're fun little lift the flaps. Then it talks about what makes us happy, what makes us sad, what makes us angry, why do we worry? What makes us scared? So it goes over feelings, this one. So it's part of our first questions and answer series. So there's tons of different books with questions and answers with lift the flaps. And then we have the what if series um, with our what if monster. So I only have two of the four, but you can get the whole collection with all four books. And then there's also just a little separate book that introduces the what if monster and you can buy the what if monster plush to go with it as well. Um, but I have what if I know my feelings and what if I want to be kind. But it says, what if I feel happy? I can smile. I can smile at others. But what if I feel sad? I can find someone to talk to. So it gives you a solution to the problem. What if I want to be kind? 
It says we can be kind every day, but what if we learn how to do that today? What if I want to be kind to my brother? I can play a game with him. What if I want to be kind to my mother? I can draw her a picture. So this is a cute little fun series with our what if monster. Again, you can buy all four as a set. You can even get a little monster plush to go with it. Another one of our really fun best-selling series is our reusable sticker books. So Usborne has tons of activity books and a lot of sticker books like the normal sticker books you have. We have first stickers for little ones and we have just some regular stickers and then we have like building your own dinosaurs and dragons and monster trucks where you place the sticker on the paper. But what is so great about these are these are reusable stickers. So if they ever become unsticky, you can run them under cold water and you can use them again. But they do have a lot of life in them. All the books have a little front page right here where you can keep the... Um, little stickers there so you don't lose them i have a whole video of these on my youtube channel as well that goes over every single one of these books in detail and um how to use these but you just place the little stickers on their boo-boos right here it's his trunk so there's a little story with this so this one is all better this is good as new same concept with the little bandages kisses calls and good night you give the little animals their stuffed animal time to brush you give them a toothbrush there's also, um, it's Christmas time where you decorate for Christmas and then Little Bear needs glasses where you put the little glasses on the animals, the bear, whatever. Again, there's a whole video talking about these in more detail and all the um, different book options with the links to buy them on my YouTube channel. So another thing Esporn has is a bunch of activity books. We have crosswords, word searches, mazes, um, brain teasers, logic puzzles, math puzzles. We have um, word puzzles, number puzzles, all different types of things. But we also have these white clean books, which are super fun. You can use them in school for learning. There's also ones where you can just draw or connect the dots, um, just little activity ones as well. But I have the white queen one, two, three, and the white queen alphabet. It comes with the little white queen marker, which you go through and you learn um, your numbers and you can trace them and trace the dots and color and all that. And then you can erase it and then you can reuse it after you erase it. So there's a whole series on these. The books are a lot bigger. These are just the mini versions of them. Um, but then there's some that are just for fun as well. That's not all teaching or learning. And we have little board books for babies. So little board books are awesome. They're cheap. They're only $4.99, so they're less than $5. And they're hard. So your baby cannot rip them, tear them, bite them. But they're just little stories. So this one's Baby Duckling and Baby Bear. These are new releases that just came out. They're super cute little stories to read to your little one. We have the Are You There little series. We have Are You There little unicorn. But there's also Are You There little elephant. Are You There little dinosaur I think there's tons of different ones so it has little finger trails and as you read the book you can see a little bit of something is that the unicorn no it's just a rabbit's ear so you just go through and then at the end you find them so they're just hiding in the pages and then we have some classics like the three little pigs Goldilocks and the three bears um this one's the sunny day there's also the snowy day um, we have Panda in the Park, super cute. You can kind of see through the pages. It gives you a little see-through. So this one's a super cute book. I love reading this one with my daughter. We have our whole Colorful World series. We got the Colorful World C. Um, so you find what's different. So find the starfish without a match. So you find the starfish that doesn't have a match on the page, which would be this big blue one. And then you find um, all the seahorses. This one's not a seahorse. So it's just like a little look and find. Um, you can find the difference. Um, so there's a whole different series on this one. This one's just um, the sea. We also have baby animals. Um, there's also um, farm animals and there's another one. So there's three different books in this series with the little mirror where you become the little baby animal in the book. I just got this one for Easter for my daughter because it's super cute and she loves it. You get to become the little animal. So again, this is a whole series with three different books in this series. Super cute. We have our busy books. This one's the busy bug book. It comes with the little bug. Um, it's over there on my bookshelf. Um, but the little bug will ride along all the tracks in the book. So I have a whole separate video on my YouTube channel going over all of these busy books and I have a few other ones that I show in the channel where they actually ride on the track. Um, so there's a bug. There's cars, there's a plane, there's a train, there's a helicopter, there's a Santa sleigh. And then there's also wind-up books as well where instead of like these ones, you pull them back and they ride on the track. But the wind-up ones, you would wind up on the side and then they go around the track. So there's a whole video on my YouTube channel talking about all the busy books and the wind-up books and how much fun they are. 
Okay, so next I'm just gonna go over all the other little books that we have that are just cute ones that teaches you lessons and just fun to read. So this one is Best Behavior. So you follow a cute cast of characters throughout the day as they learn to be kind, considerate, and caring in this colorful rhyming picture book. So it's a picture book that's very colorful with a lot of rhymes and it's just teaching them how to be on their best behavior. So one that kind of goes with this, we have Fair Shares. So Hare and Bear can't reach the pears. The tree is just too tall. Hare finds some chairs to help, but now Hare has two chairs and Bear only has one. Is that fair? So this teaches them how to be fair. Again, it has all that rhyming in it, but it teaches them how to share and how to be fair with their friends. Mind your manners. It teaches them their manners. It's okay to enjoy roaring loudly. We all deserve some time to play, but all lions should practice those soft growls for the quieter times of the day. Welcome to the jungle. It's full of misbehaving animals from messy monkeys to grumpy grizzly bears. Now it's time for them to learn how to have good manners and make the world go round. So this book will teach them about their manners. We also have Build Me a Home. Uh, build me a free a tree house with a ladder and swing. A look of cool homes and amazing places. Just imagine yourself there. <clears throat> So this one, it says build me an ice palace and how they want it to be. So it's just about building a home and how you, all the different homes you can have and the different places you can have it around the world. So super cool little sleep book. We have the big race. It's race day and all the other animals are faster, bigger, and stronger than little Bark. But she's determined to join in and have fun. So they're all racing and then the aardvark's going to show that just because she's not the biggest or the fastest that she can still run in the race and potentially win. Where Happiness Lives is a cute little story of three little mice in three very different houses, but which has the happiest home? It's a tale about discovering true happiness and it has flaps to lift and peep through the pages. So you can also get the um, Happiness Mouse Plus with this. Um, so we do have a plush to go with this book. Um, this is Grey Mouse in his sweet little home. It's happy and safe here and never alone. So you can see through the little pages here. And so it's like, a, again, it's a look through book. So super cute. Can I join your club? Um, as a duck wants to join a club, but he can't roar like the lion or trumpet like elephant. What's a duck to do? Um, if you want to join a club where everyone's welcome, then this book is for you. So it's about being able to join the club no matter um, if you can't do something or how different you are and there's no no need to bully or anything like everybody's welcome. From Me to You, it's a timeless story about fatherhood that will resonate across generations. So this one is about fatherhood and my, um, my husband loves reading it to my daughter. Um, so it's a super cute little book for a dad to read with his kiddo. I'm not very afraid of the dark. When the sun goes down, the dark stretches out. It gets bigger and bigger until it covers everything. The dark can be scary, but it can be other things too. It all depends on how you see it. So you have little hook throughs. But it's just showing that he's not afraid of the dark. And you can see he has his little shadow here, which is a look through book. A book without a story is a dusty light. Dust in the library book has never been borrowed and dreams of finding someone to share his story with. Will we ever find the perfect reader? A celebration of library stories and the magic of reading. So all the kids are at the library and this one little book never gets picked and he just wants to get picked. And when everybody leaves all the books, they come out and they talk to one another. Poor Dusty is so sad because nobody ever picks him to be red. But then somebody does pick Dusty. Bears Don't Read and another book about bears are super cute books. This is about a little bear who finds a, um, a book sitting under a tree and he reads it. But then this one is about a bear who doesn't want to be in a story. He feels like every single storybook is always with, about bears. Why can't they use other animals? So he wants another animal to be used instead of him. Beast Feast and Dragon Post are part of a series. There's also Santa Post in this series. It's a cute little story. And this one is little letters that are getting sent. So it even has the little letter right here for you to read. 
see if I can put it back. Well, see it has a bunch of different little letters for you to read. And this one, so there's also Santa Post. And this one's Beast Feast. Same concept, same idea. Little letters for you to read in the story. Super cute, super fun little series. Okay, Cuddle Bear is one of our best selling books. We have Cuddle Bear, and then it also can come with the little Cuddle Bear, Cuddle Bear Plush. Um, and then we have Cuddle Bear's Book of Hugs. It's just a little bear who loves giving hugs to everybody. So in this book, he just goes around and gives hugs. And if you buy the little Cuddle Bear plush, it'll tell you to hug your little Cuddle Bear too. And then in this book, it's about um, a school where Cuddle Bear is teaching all of his friends how to give good hugs too, since he can't do all of them by himself. Super cute little series. It sells out so fast. We love that one. Also an animal. If you were a bird or a bug or a beast, I'd be one too. I wouldn't mind in the least. So also an animal. If you were a cat, then I'd be a moose. I teach you to tug twisty twigs till they're loose. If you were a chick, then I'd be a loon. We'd glide on the lake by the light of the moon. So just a cute little book to read with your little one. Love You Who is another really cute one to read with your little one. It just talks about um, how much you love your little one. It's about a little mama bird with her baby bird. She loves her baby bird so much and she's so happy she has her. It says, cuddle up now, little one. Let's snuggle wing to wing. Are you feeling safe and warm? Okay, then let's begin. A joyous call it from the treetop celebration of love. Perfect for sharing again and again. I love you animally is such a cute one. It just goes over all the different animals. It says, I love you shyly like a quail. I love you largely like a whale. So, so many different animals. There's also, I love you once upon a timely. Um, I love you Americanly. And I love you oceanly with some ocean animals. So it just talks about how you love them like every animal or every ocean animal, whatever it is. The Tale of Two Beasts is a super cute book. So it's two different stories, one from the girl's point of view about how she found this friend, and then one from his point of view about how the girl is crazy. Um, a little girl rescues a strange beast in the woods and carries him home safely, but the beast is not happy and he escapes. It's a funny and charming tale about seeing both sides of the story, so you get to see her side and his side. So to her, she has a new best friend who she loves and wants to play with, but to him, some crazy girl kidnapped him and he doesn't want to be there. He wants to go back to his home. The perfect fit, um, triangle doesn't roll like the circles or stack like the squares, so she sets off to find some friends who are exactly like her, but when she finds the other triangles, there's still something missing. Will triangle ever find a place where she truly belongs? So a cute little book about how you can be different and still, um, still fit in with everybody. So she just goes on a hunt trying to find where she belongs. So one of our great series is our Shine a Light series. This one's at the library. Um, there's over like 30 different books that you can get and there's even some in Spanish. We do have Spanish titles as well. They're not all just English, but for these ones you just take, you just shine a flashlight or the light on your phone or even an overhead light through the pages and the hidden images appear. So like on this one, you can shine the light through the page and you can see ugh, you can see the book drop off. Sorry, it's very hard to do this with one hand. If you shine the light through the curtain, what's behind the curtain? There they are. So you can shine a phone light, a flashlight, or an overhead light through all the pages of these books. Every single um, page has a little see-through um, hidden image, and there's over 30 books in the series. There's a whole video of this on my YouTube channel and tons of videos online where you can see how you use them and all the different books in the series. Some of our finger trail books that I was talking about earlier that are so much fun and their series on just those. Um, we have finger trail ABC and then the finger trail ABC big letters. So these are lowercase and capital. So you just go through in their little finger trails where you trace your fingers along and it'll teach them how to write their letters. So it teaches them how to write A, B, C, D, but it also has fun little other finger trails. And then it also has things like to go with the letters like an anteater admiring ants, big bear bouncing on a bike, cool cat in a car. Same concept with this one, but this is big letters, so it teaches them their capital letters. We have tons of different alphabet and letter books. We have first word books. We have um, some of the activity books, learning letters and numbers and the alphabet, and we have so many traces and white queens. Um, tons of different books on the alphabet and letters to teach your little one. 
So finally, I wanted to go over some books for your older readers or chapter books. So we have Read With Usborn levels. We have one and two. I have a level two book here. Oh, so if you, so right here it says one is for new readers, two is for developing readers, three is for confident readers, and four is a step to chapter books. So this is part of the level two. If you get the My Reading Library complete set that teaches you how to read, I have a whole video of that on my YouTube channel as well. It's um, seven, different, seven different levels and it teaches um, your little one how to read and by the end of it they should know completely how to read. But it does have some of these two in it, um, level twos in it for them to read. So a sport has different level books for to help with reading. And then for your older ones, we have the fun chapter book series. So these are just two of our many, many chapter book series that I have on hand. I have a whole video about our Hey Jack and Millie B. Brown series on my YouTube channel. I have the Shine series on there as well. Um, there's some Polly and Buster that is a mystery series. Um, the Billy and the many, many monsters, they go on so many different adventures. So you can buy all of the chapter books um, single or you can buy them as a set. Um, and there's so many different options under age levels. They have them um, all um, categorized by age um, with all the different chapter books. Um, these ones are um, in the 12 plus age range, but I just wanted to show these because I'm 21 and I enjoyed reading them. My mom, she's 42 and she read them too and she loved them. So it's truly are for any age. Um, the 48 hour series, we have The Vanishing. It's about this girl that gets kidnapped and her friends try and find her, but they only have 48 hours. Same with this one, except it's about the Medusa. It's an art piece, and they're trying to figure out what happened to it, who took it, and why they did it. And again, they only have 48 hours. And then you have the Book of Secrets and the Book of Answers. Um, it's just about an orphan named Gabe who um, he gets his hand on a coded script, and he goes on a quest to try and figure it out. So this is another fun series. Um, some great options are graphic novels. If you have a reluctant reader, graphic novels are the best because they can actually read with the pictures. Um, they'll like the pictures in the books. Graphic novels are also kind of like comics. If your little one likes comics, we also have two different books where you can create and write your own comics. Um, so many different books and different options. Activity books of all kinds. Um, anything you can think of. We have tons of nonfiction books to help with learning or homeschooling and I have a video on basically everything on my YouTube channel for you to check out. If you have any questions you can let me know. If you want to host a party to earn so many of these books for free please let me know. Um, if you need some recommendations send over your kids ages and their interests and I can send you some book recommendations based off of their age and the interests that they like. You can always search up any topic or interest in the search bar. Under the tabs there's age levels where you can um, kind of you can look through my age there's different tabs like nonfiction, um, lift the flap, there's the jigsaw puzzles. So tons of different um, things that you can just click on and browse that way. So just let me know if you have any questions or need any help or any recommendations. I'll be glad to help you set up a party with you or even join my team so you can earn so many of these books for discounted and for free, which is awesome.